hi 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 do you know the story of elmer such a great story such a classic story this has been around for years this book so if you don't know the story well this is the last time you can ever say that because you're going to know it in just a minute elmer look at him He's a patchwork elephant, so he's made up of all different colours, which is very unusual, because I'm sure you know what colour an elephant is normally, because it's not red and blue and yellow and purple and... Hmm, what colour is it normally? Grey. Look, there's all the other elephants. That's a bit more normal, isn't it? There was once a herd of elephants. Elephants young, elephants old, elephants tall, elephants fat or thin. Elephants like this, that, or the other, all different, but all happy and all the same colour. All that is, except for Elmer. <gasps> There's Elmer, look. Wowza, he's pretty special. Elmer was different. Elmer was patchwork. Elmer was yellow and orange and red, and pink, and purple, and blue, and green, and black, and white. Elmer was not elephant colour. It was Elmer who kept the elephants happy. Sometimes he joked with the other elephants, sometimes they joked with him. But if there was even a little smile, it was usually Elmer who started it. Now one night, Elmer couldn't sleep for thinking. And the think that he was thinking was that he was tired of being different. Who had heard of a patchwork elephant? He thought, no wonder they laugh at me. In the morning, before the others were really awake, Elmer slipped away quietly, unnoticed. He's off somewhere. He's got a plan. As he walked through the jungle, Elmer met other animals. They always said, good morning, Elmer. Each time, Elmer smiled and said, good morning. Of course, they know it's Elmer because he's the only one that looks the way he does. So all the animals know it's him. Good morning, Elmer. After a very long walk, Elmer found what he had been looking for. A large bush. A large bush covered with berries. A large bush covered with elephant-coloured berries. Elmer caught hold of the bush and shook it and shook it so that all the berries fell on the ground. Do you know what he's going to do? Once the ground was covered in berries, Elmer lay down and rolled over and over, this way and that way and back again. Then he picked up bunches of berries and rubbed himself all over, covering himself with berry juice until there wasn't a sign of any yellow or orange or red or pink or purple or blue or green or black or white. When he had finished, Elmer looked like any other elephant. You remember it said he was tired of being different. Well, he's not really different anymore, is he? He's all covered in grey berries. After that, Elmer set off back to the herd and on the way he passed by those other animals again. This time each one said to him, Good morning, elephant. And each time Elmer smiled and said good morning because he was pleased that he wasn't recognised. He didn't say good morning, Elmer, now. They don't know it's Elmer. It's just elephant. Here he is. Now, look, it says, when Elmer rejoined the other elephants, they were all standing quietly and none of them noticed Elmer as he worked his way into the middle of the herd. You might have to really look closely to see if you can find which one you think is Elmer. It said it worked its way into the middle of the herd. And the herd is the group. So here's the big group. And right in the middle, I think it is, I think it's him. He's sneaking in, isn't he? 
After a while, Elmer felt that something was wrong. But what? He looked around. It was the same old jungle, the same old bright sky, the same old rain cloud that came over from time to time. And lastly, same old elephants. Elmer looked at them. The elephants were standing absolutely still. Elmer had never seen them look so serious before. And the more he looked at the serious, silent, still standing elephants, the more he wanted to laugh. And finally, he could bear it no longer. He lifted his trunk and at the top of his voice shouted, Boo! <laughs> well, the elephants jumped and fell always in surprise. Look at that. They really did jump every way, didn't they? <laughs> oh my gosh and golly, they said. And when they saw Elmer helpless with laughter, they said, Elmer, it must be Elmer. Then the other elephants laughed too, as they'd never laughed before. Now, as they laughed, the rain cloud burst. And when the rain fell on Elmer, his patchwork started to show again. The elephant still laughed as Elmer was washed back to normal. Oh, Elmer, gasped an old elephant. You played some good jokes, but this has been the biggest laugh of all. It didn't take you long to show your true colours. We must celebrate this day every year, said another. This will be Elmer Day, a bit like we celebrate Christmas Day or we celebrate your birthday. They're going to celebrate this day once a year and they're going to call it Elmer Day. All elephants must decorate themselves and Elmer will decorate himself elephant colour. So they're going to have a swap every year. Look at this. This is my favourite page of this book. Look at that. So every elephant has decided to go as a, a different pattern. Look at that. Of course, who do you think that is? <laughs> not a grumpy elephant not joining in, but it's Elmer because on Elmer Day he has to become elephant colour. Well, that is exactly what elephants do. On one day a year, they decorate themselves and parade. And on that day, if you happen to see an elephant, ordinary elephant colour, you will know that that must be Elmer. <laughs> How lovely. There's quite a few other books that are about Elmer. I think we've got some of these at school. So when we get back, we'll read a couple together, perhaps. Okay. Thanks for listening. I'll see you later on. Bye.